Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is of course Jack and welcome back to Lumber Tycoon 2 and I think this is actually the first video that I've ever started while sitting on a toilet. Um, and we're gonna have that in the Jack UK history book of 2021? Anyway, Sorry, back to the video. Today, I am going to be showing you how you can craft yourself pink cars in Lumber Tycoon 2. Now, you may, if you're a new person to Lumber Tycoon 2, if you're a beginner, then you'll see these flash people driving around in pink cars, and you must think, I've never seen a pink car, I've never got a pink car, how do I get a pink car? Anyway, in this video, I am going to explain everything to you on how you can get a pink car, how you can keep a pink car, and simply how it will never be respawned. First of all, what we're going to need to do, we're going to need to buy some vehicles. If you're brand new to the game, if you're, if you know, if you've just started, I wouldn't worry about pink cars just yet. Pink cars are something that can come later in the game. Focus on grinding money and, you know, when getting all the great stuff like the bigger sawmills and, um, like, you know, better axes from other players. But strangely enough, you can actually make these pink cars for a lot cheaper than what a lot of people sell them for. Just for example, I'm going to go ahead and buy a ton of these basic utility vehicles and we're going to go ahead and put those onto our base. And just to point this out, this method will work for trailers, any of the utility vehicles that you can purchase from either wood RS or box cars. The only vehicle that it will not work on that you can attach to a vehicle is the sleigh because obviously that only spawns in one colour which is obviously the red. We're also going to need to purchase some wires along to go with this so I'm going to go ahead and purchase some of those while I wait for Tom to restock the shelves. So just before we continue I just want to remind you all to go down below, like the video and also consider subscribing if you are new around here and let me know what you want me to do in Lumber Tycoon 2. Let me know what you want to see me do in Lumber Tycoon 2. Let me know down in the comments below. And just to also mention, you can go ahead and enter my 1000 Robux giveaway, which will be also linked in the description below, where you can go and uh, fulfill a load of tasks in a Gleam link. Uh, you can go and follow my social medias, which will give you more entries and a better chance of winning the 1000 Robux. Now, there's no set amount of vehicles that you need to buy. It is just the more vehicles you have, the better chance of pretty much you getting one. I think we're going to buy one more vehicle, and then we're going to go ahead and say that that's going to be enough for us, just for this demonstration. Obviously, you can go ahead and purchase a load more, and that will obviously be a lot easier for you to get pink trucks. Uh, but just for the purpose of this demonstration, I think that the one, two, three, four, five trucks that we're going to have will do just fine. So I'm just going to buy another wire just in case, and we're also going to need one of the push buttons that we can see just at the end of Wadaras as well. You're going to need the same amount of wires as you are the amount of trucks that you've bought. So I've bought five trucks, so I'm going to need five wires. And then I'm also going to need an extra one which I can connect up to the button. However, I think I already have one of those already over on my base. Uh, please do ignore the mess. I really need to sort this base out. It's like the biggest mess that anyone has ever seen. Um, and you know what? We're going to go ahead and place them just here. So we're going to go ahead and open all of these boxes. Now, while I go and open these, I'm just going to explain how you can, uh, how you do get pink trucks and what it is that causes you to get them. So getting a pink truck is completely completely random pretty much it's i think a one in 100 chance of um of spawning a pink car so there is a one in 100 chance of me getting a pink car when i'm placing these and spawning them in right now so if i get one of these immediately if i get a pink truck from one of, from just spawning these in then that's extremely lucky um and if i do then well someone owes me something and we want to move these back a couple of studs so i'm going to go ahead and just put them a little way away just here and let's go ahead and replace these now what we're going to need to do we are going to need to link all of these up and we're going to just simply place our button right here what i'm then going to want to do is link up the wire from the button up to the orange button on the spawn pad so i'm just going to click e and then f to finish that there i'm simply then going to want to just go and i'm not the neatest person in the world by the way so you know don't, don't judge me for this um make it a nice path here where I can go and continue this on, connecting all of the buttons to each other. So there's going to be a con uh, so there's going to be a flow of energy going through all of these, which is then going to respawn all of them at the same time. So we're then going to go and place this one just here as well, exactly the same, along here, into there. Finish. We have all of these set up here. Now, just be advised that um, the bigger the vehicle that you're going to purchase. So say, for instance, if you're using a 
uh, one of the bigger utility vehicles uh, just such as this one here it's going to cost more to respawn so this one costs 380 per truck to respawn whereas these basic utility vehicles only cost eight dollars to respawn so trying to get one of these vehicles here is going to be a lot cheaper uh, in pink than it is to try and get one of the bigger utility vehicles in pink we're simply just going to want to go and now hit the e button by pressing e here and as you can see, that has respawn, uh, respawned all of the vehicles. Now, if you have one of your uh, truck spawners that hasn't respawned, it may be that it has glitched and spawned another truck inside of another, or it may be that there is a connection which is broken, which means that you uh, means that the connection is broken, obviously, and that it's not getting a flow from the button, which means that you just need to go and reconnect that wire to make sure it's actually going from the wire over to the button itself. So now we're simply going to just clickly, uh, clickly, that is not a word, that's quick and clickly put into one word. Um, we're going to just go ahead and click the button continuously. My money will slowly go down as you can see up in the corner, but if I keep clicking E on this button with this setup here, in a couple of moments time, once we get into that 1 in 100 chance of getting a pink truck, it's going to give us one. As you can see, this is now, uh, it hasn't spawned a truck here, and that is because it has glitched another truck inside of another one. I can't tell which one it's done it to. Is it this one? You'll be able to tell which one it is because you won't be able to steer. Ah, it's this one here. You can see that when I turn this vehicle here, there's another set of tires. It's very, very difficult to drive those vehicles as well. So, let's continue respawning. So I think, I, I think this is seven, maybe eight clicks that I've done now. And there we have it. We now have a pink truck just at the end here. Now this pink truck um, is the rarest truck in the game. It's the only truck that is actually counted as rare. So this is how you see where, when you see people driving around in pink trucks. It, it catches your eye. And if you didn't already know, anything in Lumber Tycoon that is pink generally tends to be rare. So now you're going to want to keep this truck on your base, obviously, you know, you've just spent all that money and time trying to get the truck in the first place. So what you're going to need to do, you're going to need to drive the truck off of the spawner. You're then going to need to go to the spawner that, uh, that it spawned on. I'm going to click E and I'm simply going to go and destroy it. I'm then also going to remove the wire that it was connecting to. So I'm going to quickly just go and do that there and finish. So, this truck is now on my base. I have destroyed its spawner. However, if I now go and click that button, it is going to refresh and this truck will disappear. In order to make your tr uh, in order to make sure that your truck doesn't disappear, you need to go to the menu, you need to go to load, and you need to reload the current slot that you have open. So, this for me in this instance, it's slot 3. I'm going to simply click slot 3 and click reload slot, and it's going to reload the slot completely. As you can see, I can now go and respawn my slot. For instance here, let's select this plot here. As you can see our pink truck is still here and now in order to continue trying to spawn pink trucks I can go over here to the button, click again and that pink truck will stay exactly where it is over there. Now if you do not follow that step then the pink truck will disappear and you will not be able to get it back. You'll have to continue and start the process all over again. So I'm just going to keep clicking here on E. Don't click too quickly as many, many times before I have just skipped past a pink truck because you don't even think about it. It just does it automatically without you even thinking about it. I don't advise doing this when you're tired either because that's just a recipe for disaster. <laughs> so I will now show you, for example, what happens if you do not reload your base um, when you get a pink truck. As you can see, here we go. I now have another pink truck. I haven't clicked that button more than 15 to 20 times, I would say, and I already have another one. Now, for example, if I only just go and delete the spawner, and if I go and drive this away just here, like I, I could even destroy this piece of wire here, move, and then reconnect this wire here directly from that button to this button here. Even though I have already gone and um, deleted this spawner here, if I go and click this button, the truck disappears. It's a lesson that everybody learns at some point when trying to get pink trucks in Lumber Tycoon 2. I've learned it the hard way many, many, many times, and it's something to worth bearing in mind if you're trying to craft these pink trucks. Guys, if this video has helped you, please be sure to go down below, like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on notifications if you want to be kept updated with future videos that I upload. If there's anything that you specifically want to see me do in Lumber Tycoon 2, please do be sure to go down below and let me know in the comments below, and also enter my 1000 Robux giveaway, which is going on until the 1st of February 2021. Guys, I will catch you in my next video.